Hey y'all, I figured it's about time for a, well, I'd say garden tour, but I think it's going to be more of a homestead tour. So, the big mimosa tree is in the process of being taken down. There, there's a heck of a mess here, but um, they had to, they had to take a break because this last piece of it is going to be a real booger bear to get down because that's my house. And that's the way it's leaning. So, um, they didn't want to take the chance of it hitting the house. And so they stopped. Uh, they're hopefully going to bring some equipment tomorrow to be able to pull it that way um, when they when they finish cutting it. And then they, they're going to cut up the wood. And um, He'll take half, I'll take half. Or he can actually take more than half. I mean, they have worked their butts off trying to get this thing down. And I really appreciate it. That's the front garden. Temperatures are extremely high right now. I mean, well, for me they are. Hitting in the high 90s and 100 degree weather is just way too much for me. But the zinnias love it. Which, you know, that's cool. My bird creatures over there because we had to move some things from over here so the, the tree wouldn't come down and bust them. I'm still working over here on this little bit flower bed that the armadillo and I are arguing about. I've still got to get finished bricking it the rest of the way in and putting the fence up. But my energy level is just not there in this heat, so this will take a while. Pretty roselles there. Not blooming yet, but they will be soon. So let's head over this way towards the garden. Strawberries are looking nice. I am pruning off all runners. Hopefully, I'll have some really good strawberries next year. And trying to keep things watered is just wow. Um, it's not easy. I did water some this morning, which is why the basil tower does not look like it's dead. <laughs> so there are some some bigger changes here in the big garden. Let me get the gate open here, if I can. So I got lots and lots of black eyed peas on my black eyed pea tower. Just lots and lots. Nowhere near ready yet unless I want to snap them and I, I really want the black eyed peas. And this tower, this is about as big as the beans I own here ever get. They, they don't get any bigger. Uh, it could be lack of water, it could be grasshoppers, I don't know, but um, I've yet to be able to pick any of them. I'm not sure if the carrots are going to do much of anything. I need to get the parsley out of here and put in someplace bigger. But that's not for right now. Um, I did lose some sunflowers. We had a storm uh, with wind. No, no sizable rain, but lots of wind. And it knocked them down. Busted the tie that had them up. I've got to get them put over in the um, in the compost pile, but I'll have to wait until it's cooled off to do that. It's actually pretty hot out here for me trying to do this tour, but um, I, I need to get out of here and show you all what's going on. This is where I mowed down the pumpkins. They see they they had um, vine borers and everything in them, but now my Cherokee tan pumpkins are looking like they might go ahead and take off now. And I've got quite a few of the Otomi watermelons. And of course I've got lots of these little leaf footed bugs trying to suck all the juice out of them. But there's a couple there, one there, one there, and the one here. And there could be more down in there. I don't see any, but I'm sure there's more down in there. Excited to see them grow and hopefully I'll get to I'll get to have some watermelon 
This is my second planting of ambrosia corn, and it is tasseling some, but it's growing much better than the first planting is. Now, at the end of this bed, I, I've tried three times to plant things here. Um, the burgundy okra, okra never come up, and then I planted some bush beans, and uh, the armadillo got in here and did digging. One of them has come up, but none of the others. But then I came in yesterday evening and planted some uh, royalty purple pod beans. And let's see if those come up. Only the two Okinawa pink okra germinated. The other two seeds didn't come up. Lots and lots of blooms on my rattlesnake pole beans, but I'm not getting a lot of beans off of it. So if it doesn't start doing producing better and actually giving me beans, then it's to me that's a waste of space, and I'll pull them out and put something else there. The being orange okra is producing pretty nicely. Some really nice pods. Here's another one there. I'll probably come out and pick them this evening sometime. I pulled out the cucumbers and I have planted more corn here, more sweet corn. Uh, this time I planted some true gold and that was uh, last night I planted it, so it would take it a while to come up. And I'm definitely going to have to come out here and do some more watering, but I'll probably wait for a little bit until it cools off a little bit. These are my Puerto Rico sweet potatoes and if my um, calendar is right I should be digging these at the end of this month middle of, of August somewhere in there and then the other sweet potatoes well I won't be digging them until September I need to get the rest of this corn out of here there are a few ears here but it didn't uh, pollinate very well and the ears that I did get weren't filled out very well. My green okras over here are finally starting to produce some. There's a pod there I'll have to pick her later on. But um, I, it, it loves the heat so <laughs> of course now it's going to start producing. You come back out of here Shut the gate, try and keep critters out. That, there we go. That's fastened. And I'm going to take you up to the house to go into this little garden here, since I've got the doors unlocked. And I can show you easier than trying to show you over the fence. My key lime is looking really nice. I had to take the Meyer lemon in because grasshoppers were chewing it to death. But my coleus are looking gorgeous. Let's go in here. I do have some seedlings. I've got shallots and onions there that I'll be putting out into the garden um, end of August, beginning of September, and I plan on overwintering them, so I'm going to put like um, row covers over the top of them. There's my Meyer lemon tree. Seems to be happier in here without the grasshoppers. I've got some hollyhocks and some chrysanthemums that are sprouting more chrysanthemums in that one. I don't see, oh, there's another hollyhock back in here that's uh, sprouted up. These are the silver maple and the alpine holly that I am trying to grow for my brother-in-law, but I'm not having any luck right now. Hopefully they will eventually germinate. And 
you head this way, trying to get past the wood stove there. This is my last batch of pickles I got going. The sweet pickles. They're in there. I got the plate upside down over them. They're so soaking in the pickling brine right now. And let's take you outside down to this room that I may never ever get it cleaned. <laughs> couple of toads living in my garage every once in a while when I come in here they're sitting in front of the door and of course they always hop away there we go I gotta prop this door open though so it doesn't lock me out so I've got my paprika peppers they're looking really good, getting nice and, well, they're it's still orange, but I want them nice and red. My purple cabbages are finally taking off and making heads, which I'm tickled with. Those are two of the um, longer type of, longer season cabbages. Um, and that's really faded. So I cannot tell you what they are now because uh, the tags are just too faded to read. This one is my last Katarina, but the bugs are trying to decimate it. These are my strawberry popcorn and they're starting to tassel now. So I've got the three bags here. I'm kind of excited to see how these grow and produce. And I've got sugar baby watermelons over here. And there are several on here. There is one there, there it is, and one over here. And then there is a really big one down here. And the vines are just going everywhere. So hopefully there'll be some more watermelons on there. Of course, I'll be happy with just two or three. Um, But there are still some blooms. Looks like mostly male blooms on it right now. So, but oh, there's a little pump of watermelon right there that hasn't been um, pollinated yet. But anyway, that's my garden, y'all. What I've got going this late summer. Um, I did pull up a couple of these carrots, and they're really not making anything underneath them. So I have had a very hard time growing carrots here in the South. And in fact, most of my root crops, I have trouble growing here in the South. And it's just me trying to acclimate myself to a, a, a warmer season than what I'm used to. Um, and eventually I will get the right combination together and be able to grow some decent turnips and carrots and stuff and radishes. Oh, that's um, that's my garden. What's going on with it? And I'm going to try to grow pretty much the whole year round. At some point, I would really like to get a decent greenhouse or maybe a, a smaller high tunnel so I can actually grow easier year round because I think the cold season crops will do much better um, growing through the fall and winter and the early early spring. Anyway if you um, want to come along on my journey on my homestead uh, please subscribe to my channel. If you like this visit this uh, video uh, please um, give it a thumbs up, share it, comment and I'll talk to y'all later.